This is my friend Tom. Who are you talking to? Everyone has a Tom in their life. I'm sure you've met him already, in fact. The guy in the corner of the party, the student who heads straight home after class with nobody else, uh, the guy who takes overtime once he has a job, just because he wants to be alone. I've never done that. I don't even have a job. The heart of gold underneath a kind of a total dick exterior. <laughs> Seriously? Heart of gold? Yeah. Go ahead, name one good thing I've done for someone else. Go on. Now, there's no need to be so harsh on yourself. Look, he's not even going to try and name one. Who are you talking to? Oh, yeah, right. See, Tom doesn't think of himself as a pile of dirt. It's more like he sees the whole world around him as a pile of dirt, you know? He's mature enough not to make a big deal out of it. The lad's been coming to this pub every night for the past seven months, and he sits at the corner of a bench and filters out electrolytes like a drunken pop lad he is. When I'm not busy, I like to talk with him and see what's been happening in his life. Speaking of, uh, anything new? Nothing. Usually nothing. But I guess something interesting happened last night. When I left the pub yesterday, uh, I think it was about half past ten, I think, uh, I passed through one of those little tiny public parks. The ones that the council have been trying to fit in between all the mid-rises, you know? Uh, and when I walked through, I saw there was a football lying there. Uh, the round one of a pigskin? The round one. Some kid must have just left it there, forgot to take it. Uh, I can't imagine him caring. He probably had two more at home anyways, and uh, there was nobody around, so... Uh, I kicked it. And then I went home. That's really pathetic. Yeah.